What is going on you guys? It is your boy Umzi here. It is Sunday and y'all know what that means. It is Demon Slayer Day. Holy shit, last week. Last week had one of the best animation shots in the entire series, but literally it was one of the best in the entire season. I am so excited to see what more this season has left to offer. I got the custom Akatsuki Omzi jersey right here with the Mob Psycho shirt. Yes, I know I'm wearing glasses and it's indoors, but I don't give a damn. I am just excited as hell. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. For the last two weeks with Demon Slayer, I am just like so hyped. I'm so hyped and I am just so energetic for every single episode that's literally about to be coming out. So I don't want to waste any more time, really. Like, I, I really don't know what else I have to say. Like, really, what else is there more to say with this show and with this season so far? This season has been going into it and we still have so many more weeks left to go. Last week, Tantra pulled off that Sun Halo dragon head and it was gorgeous. Oh my God, literally capping all three of the upper four so far. Still have no idea what's left to be in store yet, but the main cliffhanger that ended last week was what the hell is going on with Genya? We know this Genya form or whatever this form is with Genya. We're probably going to maybe get some backstory with him. I am not sure. I have no idea. Last week, I couldn't give an honest prediction on what the hell I honestly think probably happened. I don't know. I really honestly have no idea. All of Upper Four is kind of really taken out now that I think about it. So we're just going to honestly see what is going to have to happen. Muichiro might get into this episode or he might get his full fight next episode that's what i've been hearing from everybody else but man this season is just not letting up man for real like if y'all are demon slayer fans y'all have to be praising this show and y'all have to be praising this season because they are kicking so much ass with this entire season so far so i'm just gonna shut the hell up so we get straight into it man i'm hype as hell happy mother's day to all the mothers out there hope you guys are doing great and let's just get into it, man. Let's get just straight the hell into it. If you guys are new to the channel, get a like, very ass, and like, subscribe, comment down below. And if you guys want to be notified, I release those videos. Make sure to smash that notification bell. But with that being said, let's get right into the episode. Sun Halo Dragon Head. Got rid of the last one, but what in the hell is that form? He looks like a demon. Once he got bit or something else, I don't know, but he's a demon. Already halfway through this season, we already got like so much destruction. What in the hell? He looks like that dude from Blue Lock, <laughs> if anybody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Get yeah. I told you this was probably not going to be the end. Before we, yeah. I told you, like. Looks like even if we behead him all four at the same time, still, yeah. That was my original guess, but I don't know how you're gonna do it. I don't know. Nezuko's still trapped. Yeah, I don't think so. Just like with the upper five on how it's the vase, it has to be something else. I just don't know what it is. The scent of the fifth demon. Hmm. I bet it's not even around here! So Genya's still conscious. What in the hell? I see. Are we not going to touch upon? What is going on? Huh? The hell? Oh shit! Like, We're still back into it. He's back. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. Unless they explain it this episode, I have no idea. Unless we get some backstory. But alright, we're back into it. Let's go! Because she's my little sister! <laughs> that gun is still one of the coolest things that they brought into the show. It's just cool because of how different it is, and I know there's a reason by it. Nezuko trying to go for a kick. Blocked. That's still one of the coolest attacks that they brought into this season, too. That damn leaf. That fan. It's him. They'll never find me. I had a feeling it was him. Because we knew he was never taken out. Just these kind of emotion demons just were the ones that really do the damage. That makes perfect sense. We can get to it real quick. Oh god. Oh shit! Those lightning attacks. They need more help. Where's Mitsuri at? Unless Mitsuri's busy too. I don't know. Oh, that attack! Oh, damn! Don't get hit by anything. Another goddamn lightning attack. That is just crazy. You're dealing with a wind attack and a lightning attack. Nezuko! Where'd she slash at? Oh, she got stabbed! Oh! Oh, God. We know that, the, we know that she's taking on sorrow, technically. Woo! My God! What the fuck? Oh, he still has that little Hinikami! Damn! <sighs> yes, he did. We're gonna get another level of this? <laughs> there goes his wing! Oh, God, look at her! Oh, shit! We're gonna be eating good. <laughs> Holy shit, he's fast. Ooh, I thought they were going to cancel out their attacks. Never mind. My god, how fast is he? Or is that just a late response? I thought he was going to yell, like, Kenya, move your ass! We know that he doesn't have perfect, like, smell like Tanjiro, but... Oh, God, and the more punishment Tanjiro's gonna take. I love how Willie's trying to fight him, he's trying to also give him directions. He's very small, no wonder why! <laughs> He's tiny as hell! <laughs> you got a range? Oh! Wow! Really? Really? No matter how tiny it is, the bullets are useless too. Holy shit. He's gonna have to do it with Hinikami probably. Whoa! Oh! Mitsuri? Somebody! Regenerate my head. Yeah. 
。Yeah. そしてあの時のことを謝りたかった。What I said that day. Here we go. I want to learn about this. She was a hard working mom. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> okay. I don't know what Good for nothing. Got stabbed to death by someone with a grudge. Oh. Okay, that's what I thought because she's holding her face. Oh, God. Oh. This is just like back in Tokyo Revengers last season, too, with Taiju and Yuzaha. It's going all back. Can't sleep. I'd be worried. Like a good brother should. Good job. Protect the rest. I'm scared something's gonna happen. What is gonna happen? I feel like the, I don't know. I don't want to say it. Oh, they're all awake. Damn, what the hell happened, man? Oh, he's not in danger. I feel like either. She got turned into a demon and ran into somebody, or I don't know. Because we gotta find out how in the world Genya ended up with these powers. That's no, that's. Oh god. Oh god, don't tell me. Please don't tell me I was right. Please don't tell me I was right. Oh! This animation. Kenya, not Kenya. Being able to come in for the save. Holy shit. Are they all dead? Oh my god. They're not even moving. They don't even look like they're moving. Holy shit. That's why I ended up with the scar. A little bit. Oh, wow. That's their mom, isn't it, man? It has to be. Oh, I f God. <sighs> wow, she really got turned into a demon. Wow. <sighs> What is going to happen? Yep. Yep, I knew it was their mom. That's crazy as hell, man. That's so crazy. Wow. Honestly, I think it's probably one of the most darkest things I've seen in the show so far. Shattered, like I. Mm -mm. 
It took a lot of guts for him, like, on the spot in order to do that. I know how hard that must have been. Must have broke him, literally, from the inside. What you did, but you also lost it. Wow, holy shit. Check mom and our siblings. God. God. It's crazy seeing the these brothers like this for the first time. Really crazy. Misery has to be in here unless somebody else is going to come in. So that's why he uses the gun. Oh, man. God, there's a lot with Genya that I want to talk about. Wow. <laughs> oh man! Barely scraped him. Tanjiro being able to come in here with the save. Wow, look at this. With his brother not being able to give him that motivation that he desired, Tanjiro's given it to him. I love it. Here comes sorrow. Here comes the sorrow one. Oh, shit. What happened? Did Genya get taken most of the- Holy shit! What? I don't. I. I don't have any words right now. Holy shit, man. Here we go. I love this score so far. You found it? There he is. <laughs> He's all an ass as little as he is. Straight down the middle. He didn't call me. Oh, please don't end. Please don't. End. No! <laughs> oh, man. Why? Why, 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 why? All right. Well, what hell of an episode once again. Genya, top story to talk about. Let's do it. All right, what an episode this was with the number one talk being Genya. Like, I've so far been liking this character just because finally, because we haven't seen this character since season one, we get to see what he's about combat wise and what he's able to do. And I've known that ever since he was using this gun and that like, because it, it's the most different thing that they brought into this show so far and the most different that I've seen with any other character. And I knew that there had to have been some sort of reason why he uses this gun than just always using this sword. So the reason being that he is not able to use a breathing technique and not being able to do that. And the reason why he wants to become a Hashira so much, especially to his brother, but his brother not giving him the motivation and literally belittling him, not being able to do it. It's so sad because you see 
how they were when they were little and when that incident happened and even before their mom became a demon, which I'm also curious on how that happened and maybe if Muzan had something to do with it or just something else, unless like it was just a random demon or whatever. So my original prediction going into it, what I was thinking that was probably gonna happen was that yes, I did think that their mom was gonna become a demon, but I don't think unless they said it in here, which I mean, you guys can tell me in the comments unless they're gonna say in the next episode or whatever else that we didn't get a really good explanation on what like what this form is. Like we know that he's drooling. We know he has the demon teeth. Like he is like somewhat part demon. Like unless I'm just tripping or whatever. No, he's part demon. So that's where I thought like, oh, he was going to get in contact with his mom, who was a demon, and then get bit. And then that's how this kind of like thing was going to go like into the future and just how they are and whatever else was going to happen. And with his brother dealing with the fact that Genya is now part demon. So I just thought that was maybe going to go like that. Maybe it's something else, which I assume it is. So maybe they're going to introduce in the next episode or in further episodes. I don't know. But I still think that we didn't get really much of a clear explanation on what this form is and yeah he's the reason why he's looking like the dude from blue lock but the fact that literally his mom got turned into a demon and which i like which i expected but the fact that she barged in and all of their brothers and sisters are dead that's crazy as hell and i think it's honestly one of the darkest things that they've shown in this show so far for like even though the mom got turned into a demon killed four out of her six kids that's crazy man i don't have any words for that and that's just beyond crazy but just seeing what this character has gone through especially from that moment with him trying to become a hot shirt just doing everything he can to do what he wants to do and with tanjiro being that person giving him that motivation not to give up not to just like sit there and take it and just get like and just die like i love that with tanjiro i love that like in just one of the things i love with the character tanjiro gets that motivation and that spirit out of these certain characters like muichiro which will i assume for their experience what more with his character and his backstory what happened with that and with genya right here it was really really beautiful i love how they did it the fighting and everything once again it was absolutely amazing i knew that these upper four weren't gonna go down quietly and yeah i kind of would have expected that like oh wherever like the main one was I wasn't expecting it to be like freaking mouse size but it would make sense that you would have to take that one out in order for all of them to be dead it kind of makes sense like oh when you have the kind of person right there kill him behead him all the emotions and everything come out now you got to take care of that thing to get rid of the rest so it's kind of like a vice versa type thing really if you guys know what i'm saying but yeah it looks like it's probably gonna have to take hinakami to defeat that and it looks like we're gonna have to experience it in the next episode now if hinakami or the sunny little dragon whatever he's gonna do doesn't really take it out i don't know what else is gonna happen or if they're gonna freaking introduce anything else i'm not sure but yeah no mitsuri in this episode no muichiro in this episode other than him just getting trapped but really much nothing else with further of the story with that but it looks like the next episode is probably going to be with that but next week looks like to be absolutely insane cannot wait looks like it's going to be muichiro's episode but that's just a prediction i'm not sure because i know most of you guys were saying that muichiro's big fight was coming up so it may be the next episode guys thank you for watching my video you guys are excited for the rest of demon slayer and you guys like the channel like subscribe comment down below and as always my name is omzi and i am out